Hi guys, my name is Sushil and today I'm going to teach you about virtual private network. In short, we call it as a VPN. Now, we'll understand in which scenario VPN is required. Now, let's say for example, I have one headquarter in which I have a LAN network. This is my LAN network. Let's say, assume I have a hundred hosts or I might have a thousands of hosts in my LAN network, isn't it? So, we have a multiple hosts connected in my LAN network, okay? And this LAN network has to be connected with the other branch. Now, let's say I have a branch office in Pune, okay? In a Pune also, I have a multiple hosts. Let's say, for example, I have a 50 hosts here. So, I want to connect these 100 hosts with these 50 hosts, which are in a different locations. Let's say, for example, the distance between Delhi and Pune, we have around 2K kilometers, right? So, is it possible that we can connect a wire between these two headquarters and the branch offices and make the connectivity between the uh, LAN networks of your two branches? See, probably if we think it could be, but the cost would be very high, right? Uh, it won't be a reliable connection, natural uh, disasters might be in between, okay? So, if we try to connect a wired connection, the cost would be very high. It won't be a reliable solution and small companies can't afford such type of connectivities, right? So this is not the reliable connectivity between the two sides. So the 2000 kilometers, just you can imagine like 2000 kilometers, we can't put a wire and make the connectivity between the two LAN networks. Okay, now let's think like we'll try to put a wireless connectivity. We'll try to put a different wire, uh, you know, a wireless towers between the two networks, uh, between the two sites. Now, one site is having a Delhi branch, the other side Pune branch, and in between, we're having around 50 towers in this 2000 kilometers. Do you think that will be cost effective? Do you think we can manage the multiple towers? Do you think like small companies can afford such, such type of, you know, the towers between the two locations. So basically this is not the reliable solution. This is not cost effective. So it's not possible to have a wired connection or the wireless connectivity between the two branches. So what's the actual solution? What is the real solution that you guys can implement to have a connectivity between the two private networks? Now, this is where the VPL comes into a picture, okay? So, to connect two private networks, or more than two private networks, I'm not saying only two private networks, I have just taken an example of two private networks over here, okay? It could be multiple sites also, multi-private networks also, it could be it could be a remote access VPN also. In a remote access VPN also, we have different types of remote access VPNs, like we have uh, a dynamic uh, type of a VPN also, like let's say for example, the client will be having a dynamic IP and the destination will have a private IP, a remote access VPN with a full client will be with the client list. So different types of remote access VPNs also can be, okay? Or we can have a multi-site VPN or we can have site-to-site -site VPN. But ultimate goal of having a VPN is to have a connectivity between the to private networks, okay? Between the private networks, you can say, okay? So, the wired connection or the wireless connectivity between the two LAN networks, not possible, guys. So, what we need to do, what is the reliable con uh, connectivity or what is the cost-effective connectivity? So, we have a solution for it. So, you can see we have taken one ISP connection, okay? Now, this ISP will provide you public IP, okay? So what we have to do, let's say this is one of our LAN network. This is our LAN network, right? And this is also our another site LAN network, right? So between these two, we implement one L3 device. So this could be a router, or this could be a firewall. So I have taken one L3 router. Here also I have taken one L3 router. Behind this L3 router, Behind this L3 router, what I have done, I have connected my LAN network, okay? And from this, the other interface, I have connected with the ISP to have the internet connectivity, okay? So, once we have the connectivity between these two public networks, now we can create a tunnel or we can create a VPN. 
This is called tunnel over the ISP. It's basically called as a L3 type of VPN. Okay. So we'll create a connectivity between these two public networks and we'll create a tunnel between them and we can easily connect between the two private networks securely. Okay. See, just having a tunnel between the two sites does not mean your data is secure. No, we implement different types of protocols on top of the tunnel to secure our connectivity. Okay, like we need to apply CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity. Right, for that, we need a different types of protocols. Like we might need IPsec or I need uh, SSL or I need TLS. These are the types of protocols that can be implemented on the tunnel to secure your data. Okay. So understanding about the IPsec, understanding about the SSL or TLS, we'll understand in a different video. Okay. The purpose of this video was to make you understand in which scenario VPN is required. Okay. So VPN is actually required in the scenario where I have to connect to two different LAN networks. They are in a different locations, okay? We can't have the wired connection, we can't have the wireless connection, these are not possible. So we need a solution, cost-effective solution. With a less cost, we can have the connectivity between the two sites and we need also, we also need to have a security to our data. So ISP is the solution, okay? Through the ISP, we can connect the two different routers of two different sites and we can create a tunnel between them and we can have a connectivity between the two LAN networks. This is the solution, okay? This is the scenario where your VPN tunnel is required. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video in which I'll be explaining you guys about the IPsec protocol or TLS protocol or SSL protocols and all, okay? I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.